I teach. I teach second grade. I graduated with a degree in the liberal arts from a classical college. I love to write and to express um, express what God has put on my heart. Like I really want to communicate for people who can't communicate. And in high school, I was pretty reserved. I we moved to Montana and. Um, it's a big culture shock, but I mean, I got into it. I was just a very private person. I just kind of experienced things by myself. I've been teaching since the beginning of September of this year. July 27th, 2002, I was on a pontoon boat with my family. We were out to enjoy the summer day and um, didn't realize that my life would change. As we were chugging along in the water, um, the speedboat didn't see us. It turned it without looking and um, just came straight toward us. Everyone on the boat was screaming, so I've been told. I don't actually remember this, which I'm very thankful. But um, all my family, they were screaming. They couldn't believe this was actually happening. And the boat just came on and it was absolutely terrifying, I think, for the people there. And I've been told that in the moments immediately after the boat hit us, that um, there was oil in the water from the engine because the engine was broken. And so it looked like blood turning in the water. So they found me underneath a speedboat. They thought I would just had a concussion and so that I would wake up the next day. So um, brought me to the dock. I got picked up by an emergency helicopter, flown to the nearest hospital. And um, yeah, they thought I'd, I'd wake up the next day. It would be a weird accident, but it'd be fine. But um, Overnight, things got worse. My condition rapidly declined. Um, my brain started swelling, and it was very clear that this just wasn't an ordinary concussion. I shall not die, but I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Psalm 118, 17 and 18. They tried several different things. It got worse and worse. A few days into my injury, they decided that they needed to induce a coma. Most doctors thought that it wouldn't be worth saving me at that point because if I recovered, I would be inactive and um, have no mental activity whatsoever. But this one doctor really, really cared about the dignity of human life and he really cared about my parents. He trusted that God could work through the means that he had given him, which was this procedure, which was the only way out. He put me on ice to bring down the swelling in my brain, and um, it worked. They didn't think I would recover, but after a few days, there was renewed brain activity, which was something they hadn't expected. And a few days after that, I think it was 10 days from the original accident, I started to open my eyes. I was recovering by leaps and bounds, and I just thought, what is there to be but happy? I've been saved. Then as that fall went on, things changed a little. I got less sleep. Things were a little harder and a lot slower than I expected. As this went on, I, I got really, really depressed. It was always in the very worst moments when I would think, how can I live? That I would just feel this voice inside of me saying um, that God had a reason and God comforted me. He brought me out of it. and. I really had to trust. I've never had to trust like that before. I never knew what faith was before. I just gave it up to God and said, you know what, Ed, you know what you're doing and I'll be patient with this and, and take joy in what you've given me. Really rejoice in the day that you have made. I just got this peace and I hadn't had peace for so long. And so that was, that was really amazing. That was, that was, the first beginning of a new life because I hadn't imagined that I could ever have a piece where it was just still and smooth and I could feel comfortable where I was and in the circumstances. God has given me a new life. Like, I can enjoy it now and I'm at peace with where I am and who I am and what has happened to me. And um, He's just blessing my life as I go on to learn new adventures.